If there's ever been a car that looks like it rolled straight out of a science fiction movie, it's this one. The Aptera Delta, the production-ready prototype that everyone's been waiting for, has finally been revealed. And it's not just futuristic for the sake of looks. This thing represents a complete rethink of what a vehicle can be efficient, sustainable, and designed from the ground up to challenge every idea we have about how cars should look, drive, and consume energy. The Delta isn't just another prototype. It's essentially the final form of the Aptera, the version that will actually be built and delivered to customers. That alone is exciting because it means the years of speculation, testing, and teasing are finally coming together into something tangible. There are still some final stages of crash testing and calibration to be done. But make no mistake, this is what the production Aptera will look like. Now, you might have noticed that Aptera has been pretty quiet in the past when it comes to safety ratings and crash data. That's had a lot of people wondering just how safe is a three-wheeled vehicle that looks like a teardrop on wheels. The reason for that silence is actually quite simple. The earlier prototypes weren't made with finalized production components. You can't accurately test crash performance if you're still experimenting with the frame, materials, or structure. The Delta is different, it's the real deal. This is a model they're finally confident enough to crash and collect data from. According to Aptera, their simulations show that this thing should perform way better than any other three-wheeled vehicle out there. And while it's legally registered as an auto cycle, meaning it doesn't technically have to meet the same safety standards as a four-wheeled car, Aptera isn't cutting corners. Their internal goal is to make it as safe as a modern sedan. We're talking airbags, crumple zones, and an ultra-strong composite body structure designed to absorb and dissipate impact forces. What's even more interesting is that, despite being built for extreme efficiency, Aptera isn't some tiny, fragile pod. It's actually wider than many pickup trucks. That width gives it an incredibly stable stance on the road while still maintaining its ultra-low drag coefficient. And that's the key. Aptera's entire philosophy revolves around aerodynamics, the design may look unconventional, but every curve, every surface, every angle exists for a reason, to make the car slice through the air as efficiently as possible. This obsession with efficiency is what makes Aptera so fascinating. From the wheel covers to the lightweight composite body, every part of this car has been designed to minimize energy use. And that's not just a design choice, it's part of a bigger mission. Aptera isn't just building a car, they're trying to build the world's most energy efficient form of personal transportation. The Delta's new design reflects that focus beautifully. When I first saw it, the refinement compared to earlier prototypes was immediately obvious. The side mirrors, yes, physical mirrors are still legally required now, look far more integrated and natural. They've been reshaped for better aerodynamics, but they're also complemented by interior displays that show what's happening around the vehicle. It's a clever mix of legal necessity and futuristic function. I do have mixed feelings about a few small changes though. For example, the new horn button setup looks a bit more traditional, probably because of auto cycle regulations. Personally, I prefer the clean simplicity of having the horn integrated directly into the steering yoke. But overall, it's a small compromise if it means the Delta moves closer to real world approval. Speaking of the yoke, let's talk about the controls. Earlier, Prototypes featured small side buttons that many hoped would function like Tesla's scroll wheels, giving quick access to media controls and driving settings. In the Delta, it looks like some of that functionality has been simplified, possibly to reduce costs. Some adjustments, like changing songs or managing adaptive cruise control, will now likely happen through the central display. It's not ideal for convenience, but it's consistent with Aptera's minimalist, cost-conscious design philosophy. One of the most striking things about the Delta is its new two-tone underbody design. The matte black section below the main body isn't just there for looks, it serves multiple purposes. It helps with heat dissipation, reduces material use, and protects the body from road debris. It's a clever solution that adds both function and aesthetic appeal. And here's a cool touch. Aptera has no plans to use traditional automotive paint. Instead, they're wrapping the vehicles in durable vinyl. Why? Because paint production is harmful to the environment, and vinyl can be replaced or repaired easily if damaged. 
This approach keeps things greener and simpler. The black and white color scheme also happens to make the car look sleek and futuristic, especially as it blends with the embedded solar panels. Another thing I love, Aptera dropped the big front logo. They're keeping small side emblems, but honestly, this vehicle doesn't even need a logo. It's so unique that it is its own brand identity. If you see an Aptera on the road, there's no mistaking it for anything else. The early owners of this car are going to turn heads everywhere they go. They'll be like unpaid brand ambassadors, sparking curiosity and conversation wherever they drive. Now, here's where things get even more exciting, the redesigned solar hatch. The hatch now extends all the way to the rear tip of the vehicle, and it holds more solar cells than before. That means more sunlight captured, more energy generated, and less time spent worrying about plugging in. Aptera says the car can gain up to 40 miles of range per day just by sitting in the sun, and that's insane. The hatch redesign also looks cleaner and more practical. It hides the new NACS charge port, yes, the same one Tesla uses, making the rear look less cluttered. And the bigger hatch lip makes it much easier to open and load cargo without scratching the body. It's the kind of thoughtful engineering that makes daily use simpler, not just prettier. Moving inside, the Delta's cabin feels far more polished. The earlier prototypes used a pineapple leather-like texture, sustainable, sure, but visually odd. The new interior replaces that with a beautiful matte copper finish that feels modern and warm. It gives the whole cabin a premium vibe while still being eco-friendly. The materials inside feel purposeful, simple, durable, and comfortable. The seat belts now match the same fabric used on the door straps, which you use to pull down those dramatic gullwing doors. It's a clever way to merge design and function. There's also a noticeable improvement in ergonomics. The phone charger now sits at an upright angle, making it easier to glance at maps or notifications while driving. Before, your phone disappeared into a pocket-like slot which was awkward and unsafe. These little changes make a big difference in day-to-day -day usability. Of course, Aptera still keeps things efficient. There's only one wireless charging pad, which makes sense for an energy-conscious car. But for anyone who needs more, a USB-C port is almost certainly tucked somewhere in the center console. Again, it's all about keeping what's essential and ditching what isn't. Some choices might seem strange at first glance. For example, there's only one stock behind the steering yoke for lights and wipers. Gear selection happens through the display or physical override buttons placed beneath it. That makes the layout slightly asymmetrical, which may feel unusual at first. But Aptera is not trying to mimic traditional cars. They're building something entirely different. That's what makes it exciting. It challenges you to rethink how a vehicle should work. Instead of extra buttons and features for the sake of familiarity, Aptera focuses on simplicity and intention. Everything that's included has a reason to exist. And when you think about it, that's exactly what makes Aptera special. The average car is built to carry four or five people, yet most of the time, it only carries one or two. That's wasted space, wasted energy, and wasted cost. Aptera is built for the real world, for how people actually drive. It's small, efficient, and focused on what matters most getting you where you need to go for the least possible energy. Because it's so light and aerodynamic, the efficiency numbers are unbelievable. You're looking at potentially the lowest cost of ownership of any vehicle ever built. No gas, no regular charging, just sunlight, insurance, and basic tire maintenance. Imagine owning a car that practically feels itself. Aptera's range goals are equally impressive. They're aiming for a variant capable of 1,000 miles on a single charge. That's not just efficient, that's game-changing. Even the lower-range versions will likely outperform most EVs on the market today, simply because Aptera doesn't waste energy moving unnecessary weight or air resistance. This isn't just about efficiency, it's about redefining what freedom looks like. Picture this. You wake up every morning to a car that's been charging all day yesterday not from a wall outlet, but from the sky. You drive it, park it, and it just keeps topping itself up. No waiting at charging stations, no worrying about range anxiety, just independence, true renewable independence. That's what excites me about Aptera. While most of the EV world focuses on bigger batteries and faster charging, 
Aptera asks a different question. What if you didn't need to charge so often in the first place? It's a bold and refreshing perspective. Compared to the big players, Tesla, Lucid, Rivian, Aptera is on its own mission. It's not chasing luxury or performance. It's chasing efficiency in its purest form. It's not about how fast you can go, but how far you can travel on as little energy as possible. And what's amazing is that it doesn't sacrifice style to do that. The Delta looks like a moving piece of art, futuristic yet simple, sleek yet approachable. You can tell it was built by people who genuinely care about both form and function. The Aptera Delta represents something rare in the automotive world. Genuine innovation driven by necessity and vision, not just profit or marketing. It's a car that challenges conventions, embraces sustainability, and delivers a driving experience unlike anything else on the road. It's not meant for everyone, and that's the beauty of it. It's meant for people who see transportation differently. People who value innovation over tradition, efficiency over excess. The Delta's final design proves that being efficient doesn't mean being boring. It's proof that sustainability and excitement can exist in the same vehicle. Personally, I can't wait to see it go through crash testing, earn its certifications, and finally make its way to customers. When that happens, we'll not only be witnessing a new EV launch, we'll be witnessing the birth of an entirely new category of vehicle. The Aptera isn't just a car, it's a statement, a declaration that the future of mobility doesn't have to look like the past. It's lighter, smarter, cleaner, and honestly, it looks cooler than anything else on the road. If you believe in innovation, sustainability, and the power of good design, the Aptera Delta is worth celebrating. The future doesn't just drive forward, it glides through the air silently and efficiently, powered by the same sun that powers everything else on this planet. And if Aptera's vision succeeds, it might just change the way we think about cars forever.